Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I've got my hat. I am ready for the coronation. I mean, obviously that I will be wearing different things and I'm gonna have my flag. But yeah, this is, <laughs> I bought this and I love it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Please be nice. Um, so yeah, so in this particular video, I'm going to just do a couple of things where I'm going to talk about um, Harry, uh, well, being involved in a lawsuit with the let me just get this right. The Heritage Foundation are suing the Department of Homeland Security with regards to Harry's admittance in his book of his drug use. So I'm going to talk a bit about this and also about so many comments where people have said that they believe Thomas Markle is a narcissist. So I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on this. So if you would like to join me, then please do. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the videos that I do and you do not want to miss future uploads. Um, that being said, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know what to do by now. Grab your drink of choice, whether it be tea, whether it be coffee or whether you are getting the PIMS ready. Because, you know, we are British and we love our PIMS. Um, whether you would like a glass of water because your body is a temple or you're like me who just absolutely adores her cherries and berries and I haven't gone off this yet um, or whether you would like to add a little something something pims to your drink of choice because as the flag says behind me it is five o'clock somewhere so grab your drink and let's dive right in. So I'm going to take this off now because <laughs> um, A, I, I will start getting all hot and sweaty, uh, glowy. People tell me off when I say that. Glowy, gl uh, glowy and um, with the with the menopause. So I don't and I don't want to get that all over the, the hat. Um, so, yes, in the news, uh, which um, I have seen circulating is that Prince Harry is now going to be involved in a lawsuit. And what is also interesting to me is that suddenly there's been things circulating about Harry now saying that if, if his flight log gets released, he's not coming. I am wondering now if Harry is running scared. I think it's possible that he might pull out of the coronation potentially with this lawsuit because he might be scared that he won't be allowed back in the United States. And so it's very possible that he will now look for any excuse not to come. On top of that, I have a feeling, like I said to you before, when I spoke about the video, when we saw them at the LA uh, is it Lakers basketball game, she is going to be full on love bombing mode, hoovering him back in again. And the reason why narcissists do this is because they have to have control. With him coming over to the UK, she doesn't have control of that. So she needs to remind him that she's on his side, that she is the important one. Not to forget, you know, that she is still around. And so she will be doing whatever it takes to, in a sense, create him to feel that the relationship is it's got legs again it's you know it's got potential and if Harry is suckered into that then it's very possible that he could not come it is very possible that she could then create him to not want to come um so but then seeing this footage this morning I was kind of like hmm I wonder if Harry is now getting very worried behind the scenes because this is now circulating and it's gaining traction. I hadn't seen much of this. I saw one um, one article and I didn't really take much notice of it. And then someone sent me, uh, so thank you, who, uh, whoever that was, um, sent me an email um, with a link to this so I was like, OK, well, this person sent me this. I've seen that other article. Maybe this is something. So I started doing a little bit of digging into it. 
And yeah, and it is is definitely happening. So it seems, and let me just read this here. The Heritage Foundation's overnight pro oversight project is seeking information from the government authorities where the Duke of Sussex uh, received preferential treatment from the US government. It said Prince Harry admitted in his book, where? To being a prolific drug user. In, compl in complaint, the organisation said under the US immigration law, you cannot come in if you admit to a drug crime. You can only come in temporarily if you have a waiver. Now, apparently, the Department of Homeland Security uh, have refused to answer, but I'm also seeing um, that they say they cannot find the information. Um, but it says here that, that they have refused to answer uh, their lawful F, OIA request. I don't know what that is. Um, and it doesn't pass the laugh test. I'm not sure what that is either, whether that's literal as in like they, they're just, it's not funny. Um, they inferred Prince Harry apparently has a privacy interest in his drug use, even though he wrote about it in his book. We brought up how crazy that sounds in our lawsuit. So is it possible that all of a sudden we're sit we're hearing these uh sort of the rumor mill rumblings that Harry is now saying, well, if my flight log is released, then this that's a security issue and um I'm not going to come. Since when? Since when? Because no offence, there's been photographs of him at an airport. He's never had an issue with that before, um, especially when he's come over here in the UK with his wife. But all of a sudden, he's now worried, even though he's just recently been over here in the UK, walked in the front door um, of this lawsuit that he didn't even need to be here for, this court case, happy to do that. Um, could have gone in the side door or the back door or, or whatever, but uh, chose to come in the front way with all the paps there, announcing his arrival. Because to be honest, he could have done that secretly. We wouldn't have known. But he chose to announce his arrival like they do with pretty much everything. They've gone to a restaurant. There is the back grid uh, information. We have done Netflix exposing aspects of our private lives that we're not worried about. He has put things in his book about the Taliban. Clearly wasn't that worried about security when he put that in there. But all of a sudden, he's gone back to being concerned about security again. And the fact that he may not come to the coronation. Now, this is going to be one of two things, like I said before. This is either going to be that his wife has love bombed him back in again and is creating him to think that maybe he shouldn't come without her because she's probably potentially saying that she doesn't want him to go um, and probably coming at it from the guise of, you know, I'm very worried about you. I'm very concerned about you. I don't think you should go. You know, you're going to be there all by yourself with your mean, wicked family. Um, this is awful. So it's possible that Harry then might start having second thoughts and think, well, maybe I shouldn't go because I need to be here for my because uh, apparently one of the, the things that he said was that he's only coming for the actual coronation bit, then he's flying back because apparently he has to get back for Archie's birthday. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't with the time difference be that by the time the coronation's finished, it's going to be late in the evening? So I'm pretty sure that Archie will be in bed by then, would he not? If he was there, which I don't think he is. Um... So I don't believe that for a second. But I'm now wondering if he's running scared, if he's worried that if he come with all this now coming out in the media, is he worried that if he comes over here into the UK, that he might actually get refused entry back into the United States? And if that's the case, then he's possibly going to find some excuse lie to say he's not coming i mean personally i won't be too bothered by that <laughs> and i'm sure many people will also feel the same if he doesn't come i feel but i as 
as we all know, nothing is straightforward with those two. Um, but I found this very interesting and quite rightly so. And I think a lot of people are saying the same thing. You have had celebrities that have been refused entry and are not allowed in the States because of the fact that they have admitted to drug use. Why should Harry, just because he is the Prince of the UK, of, of, of United Kingdom, why should he be given preferential treatment? Um, especially as he so blatantly um, said it. So has he lied on his application? So it's one of two things. He's lied on his application to get into the States um, or he hasn't lied and he has said it and they've just gone, meh, it doesn't matter. Either way, this is now becoming a problem and it is starting to gain traction. So this, I think, is going to have him worried. Um, now, whether or not things will be put in place, I don't know. But it seems to me that people are not happy about this. And I do think this is now starting to become a problem. To be honest, I think it should have been a problem when it very first happened. But it seems that now it's becoming a problem because people are now saying, hang on a minute, what is going on here? You know, when you blatantly put it out there as if you're as, as if it's a as if you're proud of the fact. Most people, even if they've gone through something like that, don't tend to admit it so publicly. And again, I've said this before and you guys have all said it as well. This is perfect fodder for her for the divorce. It is very easy for her now to say the drug use is so horrendous that actually I feel concerned. I do not want to be in this relationship anymore um, because of, of this. And he's admitted it there in his book. Admitted it. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think that it's now that um, is that, I mean, I don't know, because I think well, over here in the UK, we don't get a huge amount. And because obviously I work, I don't get a huge amount of time to research things. So has there been more that's come out about this? What are you guys in the States or anywhere else in the world? What are you guys seeing about this? Has there been a huge media coverage? Because I kind of feel that it's not, it's gaining traction, but it's not been huge media coverage. Um, so what, what, yeah, what's kind of going on? So let me know in the comments what you think about this. And, and I want to remind you, please don't forget to give this video a like um, if you're watching this and enjoying the conversation. So the second thing. I obviously did the video yesterday in regards to the interview and it got very mixed um, reviews in the comments and I, I love reading all of your comments and thank you as always for keeping them so respectful because it, I, I certainly see that people are very passionate about this and there's been... Um, yeah, like I say, quite a contrast. A lot of people in agreement that he, you know, that the family did the right thing. They had every right to talk about what they um, what they did. And then there are some that are kind of absolutely not. I think this was was terrible. We was expecting more and it, it wasn't. Uh, and everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course. Um, I knew, if I'm honest, when it even when it come out that bombshell interview, I knew it wasn't going to be. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I had a feeling there was not going to be any real revelations purely and simply because Thomas Markle still believes that he's got some chance in rectifying with his daughter. So I think because of that, he's not going to allow anything to be said that is going to be potentially damaging. I absolutely believe that there are lots of things they probably could come out with um, that could reveal the truth about certain questions that we have. Um, and I just think that they, at this time, they don't want to, to do it. And uh, unfortunately, as predicted, they've obviously done this interview and they have spoken out and they have aired how they feel, um, which is their right to do so. Um, and of course, they're now getting trashed for it by a lot of people. And I, and you know, and I think that's what saddens me is that, unfortunately, in this the way we are today, speaking out, giving evidence um, against people that have huge fan bases. Um, 
doesn't always end up being the right thing. And like I spoke yesterday, when I went through something, not to their degree, because it wasn't global, when I went, when it happened to me, I had receipts, I had evidence of what and who was doing what they were doing. But I knew that if I put those out there, it was going to create things to get a whole lot worse. So what happens is you have to trust that the people that really know you are the ones that really know you. Now, obviously, I was battling in my situation people on here that were only knowing me from doing the videos that I'd done. So again, it comes down to faith and trust. It's trusting the fact that the people that are sticking with me, the people that are going to come on board after the fact are going to be staying because they enjoy what they see and they're going to be trusting, in a sense, what I'm saying to be true. Um, I think it could create me to be a lot worse um, in their eyes, potentially, if I come out and said, well, all this is being said about me, this is who's saying it, because ultimately then what could potentially happen is, is then I'm in a way creating other people then to go after, not that I would say that or and never would, but it's almost like then those people that are doing the bullying would then get a tactic. And I hope you kind of get what I'm saying. It's almost like then I would then become a bully or just as bad as them. And I know that I'm not. So I chose to say nothing. I mean, I had my a moment, a bit like what they've done, where I wanted to talk about how I felt about it. I never named anybody. Um, and that was it. That was it. I never, I, I never really kind of, I never really approached it again, you know, unless somebody asked me about it. And I think that's the same for them. I think they've come out, they've said um, the truth of how everything was, exposing the fact that she did not grow up poor she did not you know gr Megan didn't grow up as a single child you know child um that that was all false and but of course like with everything you the fan base it wouldn't matter what anyone said the fan base are going to defend her no matter no matter what no matter what but I think they're hopefully appealing to the people that may be on the fence with it and kind of not not just not sure and maybe that would sway them perhaps you know or maybe it was just for them and I understand that I really do because when I did mine it was for me um and I think that then I'm hoping that that's it now for them because I I, I don't want them to keep getting trashed and are pulled through the, the the media it's like it's so cruel and so nasty and and these this family I don't you know regardless of what people might think they are still human beings and I don't think they deserve that. They, I don't believe, in my opinion, they've done anything to deserve that. Which leads me then to the fact that in the comments, I've seen quite a few people say that they believe Thomas Markle is a narcissist. Um, so I wanted to explore that a little bit with you guys. I do not believe he is. Now, is it possible that he has narcissistic traits? Yes, a lot of people have narcissistic traits. Um, and there is a difference when you have narcissistic personality disorder, this is either something that you that is where you are when it kind of goes into the realm of sociopathy and psychopathy. There is something fundamentally missing from the frontal lobe of your brain, which creates the lack of empathy. This can also create narcissism. And also it can also be, as we've seen with the likes of Megan, as she's been raised with no consequences, spoilt, this can also create narcissistic personality disorder. People that have that do not know they've got it. You could say to somebody, you're a narcissist. I have never met a true narcissist that will ever admit that they're a narcissist, unless, unless, um, you have somebody that perhaps has covert narcissism and they will almost do it in such a way that it will create them to be the victim. Like I believe, you know, and they will say, oh, I believe I'm narcissistic because I was, I, you know, I went through all of this when I was younger. And it's very much about I'm a victim. Um, poor me. This is why I have it. But if you have somebody that is um, a overt narcissist, then 
absolutely not. They will never see themselves as the problem. You will be the problem. And the reason why I don't believe Thomas Markle is because of the way he's very emotional. Um, the way he is, and I do understand how people have said, you know, the way he doesn't seem to put the same amount of love and everything into uh, Thomas Jr. and Samantha Markle, that he see, seems to be all about Meghan. I mean, yes, it does now become a bit obsessive, I think, possibly, can be seen that way. But if anyone has been around a narcissist, it can create you to feel that way. You can become almost obsessive. Um, it, it really can create you to feel quite unwell, the way that they um, affect you, the way that they manipulate and gaslight. And, and, and I would think that this is kind of in the realm of where Thomas Markle is. He's so um, in... Are probably in such a shock of how it's gone from suddenly she was every, she's you know she was my daughter she was here she was everything we did everything together to bang nothing disappeared gone ghosted nothing in his mind he probably cannot comprehend how this has happened and I would imagine that he's probably turned himself inside out over this how how has this happened how how did one thing with me going to the, the perhaps to re, reinvent my image or me um, doing a couple of interviews, how has that gone from my daughter being in my life to suddenly nothing? How How is it that when I have two heart attacks, she didn't get on a private jet? to come and see me because let's be honest this is a this is a woman that is, that can get on a private jet to come over to the UK to speak in Manchester but couldn't get on a private jet to go and see her father who was in hospital having after having two heart attacks so in his mind I mean we all know why because when you're a narcissist you don't behave this you just don't care um but for him he, he it, it, it's probably driving him crazy and then, of course, he's not well either. So in my opinion, so yes, it's very possible that right at this minute, he, you know, he could be portraying narcissistic traits. Like when he said some of the things that he said, like the royal family owe me. But we all know also when you're angry, we sometimes you can say things in anger that you don't necessarily mean. You just feel very hurt, very angry. And I think we have to look at the fact that this man has, has been treated really badly. And he probably, maybe in his mind, he's angry with the royal family. Maybe he feels let down by the royal family. Um, maybe he doesn't now, but maybe he did then. Um, we can all go through into those headspaces where we want to lash out and we want to blame somebody for because we can't quite comprehend what is happening and so in his mind he probably thought you know this 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 isn't real this has got to be someone else you know my daughter is surely wouldn't do this to me so it's got to be something to do with the royal family or it's got to be something to do with harry and i think that is why i i just think that this in a way is has created him probably to go a little bit crazy um and like i say anyone that has been around a narcissist um, and, and live with them and experienced that. There we go. So yes, that was my dog, Arthur, letting me know someone was at the door. And um, a couple of things that I've got for the coronation. But look, my flag has come. Sorry, sorry, just digressing for a second. My flag, my flag has come. And um, I've got my Union Jack flag and my bunting that is going to go at the back when I so when I do my videos, um, probably it'll be just after the coronation, maybe, um, or just around because obviously I will be doing them at some point. But I should put all that at the back. Um, I should put all them at the back. So yeah, exciting. Anyway, so where <laughs> where was I? So yeah, so I think that. All of this, like I say, if you've ever been in a relationship or around a narcissist, they really can create you to feel quite unwell, quite um, like not yourself. Um, and I do think there is probably an element of that with the family, especially Thomas. Um, 
look, at the end of the day, you're entitled to how you think. And if you truly believe that Thomas Markle is a narcissist or you don't agree with some of the things that he said or done, you have absolutely, uh, your, it's your right to think that. Um, personally, um, even if I wouldn't have made the same choices that they have made, I understand why they did it. I understand where they're coming from. They have, like I said, they have been fed to the wolves and I feel that for them, it was just their way of getting their side of the thing of things out. And unfortunately as well, I do think that there possibly is an element where they're being manipulated by the media too, because it's, it's clicks. You know, who, who is on, who's on there? I mean, don't get me wrong. Samantha seems a very, very intelligent, articulate woman. Um, but I do feel sad because I think who is there, who is on their side? Um, and I know that they've spoken to, I mean, Lady C is very good friends with them. And I think that she's lovely. Um, and I, and I know that obviously Dan Wooten and, and people, people like that have, um, obviously got behind them and supported them. But other than that, who is, who's, who's on their side? Who is helping them navigate this, whirlwind of media onslaught and and kind of like I say being the whole family being trashed and trolled and um and death threats and I mean that's horrendous it's horrendous so it's understandable that they might want to come out and hope that if they do this then that will stop but unfortunately it won't because the people that are doing it are the ones that no matter what you said what they said about Harry and Meghan they will still believe that they are innocent um because as i've said before it's, it's like it's like a cult it really is um so yeah again so let me know what you think in the comments do you i mean i, I understand that like i say a lot of you think the same you know think the same way as i do you know, on a lot of things and um but i think I think having, you know, it's, it's, it's having compassion for, I think, a family who I believe have been wronged. And I do believe that. And don't get me wrong, like I say, I do think that between Thomas and Doria, they have created um, the monster, so to speak. But especially on Thomas's part, I don't believe that was intentional. I think he just tried to overcompensate I think he tried to give her the best life obviously I don't know how that was in retrospect to um Samantha and Thomas Jr because a lot of few people have been saying that it feels like he he has kind of leaving them out but they seem to have utmost love and respect for him so maybe we just don't hear about how he was as a father to them um but I I think he he probably yeah, didn't didn't even think for one second that by spoiling her and giving her the life and and everything that she ever wanted, that she for any uh, ever was going going to do what she's done. Because I'm pretty sure that if he had a done, he probably wouldn't have done it. Um, but that is also not to take away from the fact that Megan is an adult and she knows right from wrong regardless of the fact that she has narcissistic personality disorder in my opinion um she still knows that her family are hurting she still knows that what the way she's treated her father is wrong the only difference being is that she does doesn't care she doesn't care um and as hard as what that is i think the sooner thomas markle senior especially gets his head around that and accepts that and grieves in a sense perhaps the loss of this the, the child he once knew um he can then perhaps move to healing and then um living the rest of his life in in some uh peace hopefully um so yeah like i say let me know what you think in the comments um don't forget like i say to give this a like and if you haven't subscribed already please think about doing so because it seems dare I say it, but it seems my channel is being targeted again. Um, seems to happen periodically. Um, and I noticed this because uh, YouTube raised things on my, I'm getting reported. Um, and um, my views have dropped. Again, I was start, my views were starting to get pretty good. And all of a sudden it's like, 
my views have dropped dramatically um, over the last a uh, couple of videos I've noticed. So please, um, if you haven't seen any of the, any of these videos, because some people have said to me that they're being unsubscribed, they're not getting the notification, their memberships are being paused. So something is really going on with my YouTube channel again. And I guess it's because I'm talking about those two. Um, and maybe I'm hitting a bit too close to home and somebody doesn't like it, but you know, it won't stop me. I will still keep going. Um, but yeah, if you can, if you haven't, you know, please go and check some of the videos to make sure that you have watched them and don't forget to like, you know, drop a comment because that also helps the algorithm bump. Um, and thank you to everyone who has been supporting me, um, on this platform and also going across to my other YouTube channel, Just Therapy UK. Um, I haven't done a video for a, a week or so on there, but I will be getting to that. Um, I'm super excited for the coronation. So this will be the last video this week. Uh, I won't be doing another one until it's the coronation. So I'm really excited um, to, to be going to that. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you to everyone who has supported me. Thank you to everyone who's bought me a cup of tea. If you'd like to do that, the description is in the link box. No, no, the link is in the description box um, or it's just above the subscribe button. There is like the Instagram logo and then there is a buy me a coffee logo and the Patreon logo. Um, my Patreon, uh, I have hopefully sorted, going to be sorting that um, as it seems nobody is being charged for some reason. I it was It's actually my fault that I didn't click on a certain button, which meant that um, anyone that, that sort of pledged that I would get the money. So what's happened is people are pledging, but they're not getting charged for it. So thankfully, thankfully, nobody has been charged so I will be sorting that out, hopefully, and getting that's that's OK. Um, yeah, so that's it from me. Um, so I hope that you guys, whatever you're doing around the coronation, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Um, and you never know, you might see me with my hat on, with a flag, waving crazily. <laughs> you never know. Um, and I look forward to doing the video. So thank you to everyone who has supported my son's channel. Um, really do appreciate that. And as always, you know the drill. I love you. I appreciate you. But most of all, I respect you. Bye-bye.